All right, so bank bait have kindly sent me out that latest test bait to try, and this is this will be what I'll be solely trying, solely using on this uh, on this session on this vlog. I've only got a 24 hour, so we shall see how it goes. I'll give you a little more, a little better in depth look later, but as you can see. There's mixed colours in there, and there's some hard hookers. Um, so it's literally going to be the test bait, feeding freebies, and hard hookers on all three rods. I might use some straight out the bag uh, at some point, maybe. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to use it. Welcome to Paul Hall. Don't get confused with the Paul Hall um, style bridgeway because there's two Paul Halls. <laughs> this one's closer to Wolverhampton. So I made that mistake this morning. Um, yeah, so I've just arrived. I'm in a swim called the Gate Swim, I think. I'll double check that for later. Oh, actually. Yeah, Gate, Gate Swim. Um, so yeah, I'm in the corner swim. I've already seen fish here to be fair. We've got a nice reed line there, and we've got some lilies round to the right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get set up, get the marker, marker rod out, have a little lead around, see if there's anything there worth finding, and then uh, I shall update you later on. all the rods out. I've had a bit of a nightmare day. Started off with blowing up the tyre on the uh, on the barra. Just put some air in it and it was fine. I was driving down the uh, dual carriageway and then it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there's actually two pull holes. And I, obviously I went to the wrong one. They're not a great distance away from each other. And then I've got to the pool or I'm supposed to be at. I looked in the bag and I'm two bite alarms missing. Now I did a quick overnighter on the canal the other day and I've left them there. So it, it's a two hour round trip for me back home and I was I thought they might have been in the garage so left the stuff here gone back not in the garage I took a chance and gone to the canal see if I was there right there so yeah I've managed to uh, to lose two alarms and the uh, 
the bang six I was on was actually a part of a part of a rod pad. <laughs> so yeah, plus the bobbins, so nightmare day. Hopefully we can be rewarded with a few fish. Um, I managed to borrow rod pod and uh, alarms and stuff off Lee. Um, one of my uh, fishing mates, so uh, we can still get a vlog out and we're still fishing. So there is some 30s in here. Actually, there's a 30 that's come out today uh, in the swim next door. So if we can get a 30, that'll cheer me up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, what a nightmare. Um, so yeah, I'll go through some spots with you that I'm fishing and rigs and stuff in a bit. I'm just gonna have a little chillax before I get the rest of the stuff all sorted out. Um, yeah, and I shall see you later on. All right, so just before I left to try and sort out the alarms, I put a half a kilo just along this reed line. Uh, I was gone for a good three hours, three and a half hours. So when I come back, I put another half a kilo across again. So I've got one rod there, tied to the reeds. One rod there, tied to the reeds. Now just down in this bay, there's been quite a few fish uh, jumping out. I don't know if it's the same one, but I've basically put a single on a pop-up. Um, Ronnie Rig with Stiff Boom. Just with a bit of foam. Uh, one of the bank baits, um, white pop-ups. That give me, so I've just put that on a single for now. Um, just try and stealthily one cast it there. The fish are there, so hopefully I can get, I can nick a bite off there. If not, if it's starting to get dark, I'll scatter a few baits around there. Um, so that'll be it, me. That'll be it and me set up for the night. Um, so yeah, I'm quite confident. There's quite a few fish down this way. It is quite an intimate small bay where I am. Um, hence why I'm being a bit more quiet than usual. Um, but yeah, there's a few fish around and I think maybe me putting the bait in and uh, and disappearing for a few hours has helped and got the fish down in this corner. Um, Pre-baiting doesn't just have to be an overnight thing or a few week campaign, you can do it and rest your swim on day sessions or just quick overnighters, um, especially when it's really busy. If your rods are out of the water and you put a bit of bait in, they can come in and have a free feed, get the confidence up. So yeah. I'm confident of getting one tonight. And there has been a 30 out today, so... They're on the feed. So this is tonight's dinner. I forgot a spoon, fork, knife. Which is the theme of uh, this vlog. Calamity Kira, and I'm being nicknamed now. <laughs> um, so, stirring it and cutting it with scissors and eating it with the fox spud. You can imagine what's been inside there as well. Mmm, yummy. Extra taste. First fish of the night. It's 12 o'clock, just gone. Uh, this was on straight bottom bait, the test bait, the purple colour. Mm, long there we go. About 10, 12 pound, something like that. Start. Tell you a bit of a weird take. 
Um, just bobbing up and down, up and down, like a bream, to be honest. I thought, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, up against the reed line, this one, uh, middle rod. So yeah, so we can get a few bigger ones. It means the test bait's working. Lovely. Oh, that will do it. Get back. Fish number two. Uh, hard hooker, bottom bait again. Maybe a little bit bigger than the last time, maybe. 12, 14 pounds, something like that. Um, yeah, hard hooker. Trout on, the, trout on the bottom. No pissing about, no, no, uh, no cork, no buoyancy, no nothing. Um, off the reeds again, but the left hand. Rod, it's time. Uh, the time is about quarter to four. Angry comment. So I'm going to slip her back, get myself back into bed. So this is what's been doing the damage on this session. So yeah, it's a test bait uh, from Bant Bites. And what's unique is um, it's mixed sizes and mixed colours. Which I quite like, you know, rather than buying two separate bags of boilies, two different sizes or colours, you've just got everything in one bag. There's no name for this at the moment, but again, all the baits, nice and soft, and the smell, can't quite put my finger on it, what it is. It's got a bit of spice to it, but yeah, so you got these lighter ones and the slightly dark ones and then the purple ones which I think are my favourite colour out of the three, out of the three, um, just because I really liked the uh, Nash purple monster squid some years ago. So yeah, I've had, what I've been doing is I've had a purple one on the hook and one of the hard hookers of the test bait, which is these, just in hard hooker form. And then I've also had one on these white uh, seeded plum pop-ups. Seeded plum's already out. Um, so, yeah. That's what I've had on all three rods and just scattered boilers across. Now I've used two kilos out of the four that they give me uh, of the test bait. Now I'm not just banging boilers in just willy nilly. So you know, I started off with a kilo just to get the area going, but if I hadn't a quarter fish, I wouldn't have put any more in. There's no point of keep piling bait in if you're not catching fish. Um, so I've only topped up the spots with say a quarter of a kilo, just over a quarter of a kilo of every fish, um, just to keep it going. So you don't need a lot of bait. You just need to uh, keep it going in. Um, if you just keep on banging bait in without catching fish, it's going to make it harder for yourself. Um, so yeah, that's what's been doing the business. So get on to bank baits on Facebook and go onto the Facebook page where you can uh, have a look at the range, have a look at the ranges, get some orders in.
but yeah, top quality bike. And so done, done the business for me on this session anyway. So yeah, this one's not out yet. This is a test bike, but there is a few names in the port line. So it's just going to have, uh, from what I've been told, we're going to be testing this for a couple of three months or, or whatnot. Do some tweaks and, and stuff to it just to get that perfection and then it'll be released. So yeah, again, have a look on the pi Facebook page, Bank Bait. Um, ask any questions. Message uh, message Bank Bait per, uh, directly. So yeah, get onto it. this one. Nine o'clock in the morning. This is the biggest one. Uh, another, another weird take on this one. So, um, so finicky takes. But, uh, <coughs> but the fight's, the fight's mega. I don't want to come in. I suppose commons, angry commons. Twenty-four and a half. Uh, Twenty-four and a half. Yeah. Happy with that. that scrap on it was amazing. Just didn't want to come in. Still fighting. Come on. Oh, yeah, throw away some of that. There we go, twenty four and a half. This one was on the uh, Ronnie Rig wide pop up, just in the corner down to those, uh, down towards those lily pads. I was seeing the fish yesterday. I did put it down there on a single, but I scattered about 20 baits over it before it got dark. And this is the result. Awesome. Well, happy with this one. I don't know if there's many uh, mirrors in here though. I've had three, one on each rod, again. Um, but all commons. Angry commons are always angry. Be 12 pound, 14 pound, then a 24. Maybe the other two was a bit bigger because I didn't think this was a 20 to be honest. <laughs> but there we go. Happy days. Oh, get it back. Getting them rod tight. It did tangle up another rod, so it's nine o'clock now. I've got till about one. So I've still got another three, four hours. Oh, so yeah. Let's get them back out, get another one. <sighs> Thank you.
Right, so that is it from me and Paul Hall. Uh, three fish, probably fish for 18 hours. So three fish, 24 and a half pound biggest. Um, all caught on the new test bait from Bank Bait. Uh, don't forget to check out their uh, YouTube page, not YouTube page, Facebook page. <laughs> check out Only Carp's YouTube page. Um, yeah, so have a look at their Facebook group and you can see all prices and how you can get your your bait um, delivered. But yeah, Paul Hall, overall, brilliant venue. Um, apart from all the stuff that's happened to me yesterday, losing my alarms, barra tyre blowing up, what else? Going to the wrong venue. Um, I've had a good session, to be honest. So yeah, three fish, two mid doubles, maybe low doubles, and one at 24 and a half pound, which was a nice one. Um, well happy with that one. I've been bit to hell everywhere. Um, so I'm itching. But yeah, great session, and I'll see you on the next uh, the next vlog. Um, now that's carpet.